In this video, I'll show you how to estimate a job where timber frame is being used. To estimate a timber frame build, you need to select the appropriate specification. The specifications define which materials, labour and plant are going to be used for a job. In the timber frame specifications, certain elements of a traditional build are left out, as they are being replaced by timber frame. Let's take a look at the various timber frame specifications in the Library of Specifications. Firstly, we have the New Build Timber Frame Specification. This is for new build jobs where you're having a full timber frame kit supplied for the job. This specification does not estimate the inner leaf of the cavity walls or any stud walls. They appear in the specification as included in timber frame. It also removes the timber from the roof. This is because the timber frame kit will make up the inner leaf of the external walls, the internal walls and the roof structure. When using the New Build Timber Frame Specification, Add a price for a supplied timber frame kit to the estimate using the Subcontract Quotations Estimating Calculator. Next we have the Extension Timber Frame Specification. This is the same as the New Build Timber Frame Specification, but it allows longer for the labour tasks to be completed. Then we have the New Build Site Fabricated Timber Frame Specification. This specification only deals with timber frame walls, so it removes the cavity wall inner leaf and stud walls, but it doesn't alter the roof structure. With this specification, you could add a cost for a supplied kit for the timber frame walls, or you could price your own timber frame panels in the estimate. Then we have the extension site fabricated timber frame specification. This only deals with the timber frame walls and doesn't alter the roof structure. It's the same as the new build site fabricated timber frame specification, but it allows longer for the labour tasks to be completed. Let's see what this all means in practice. I'm going to open up the new build site fabricated timber frame specification. In a timber frame specification, you'll notice that some items are given the marker included in timber frame. I'm going to filter the specification to show all of the items which are included in the timber frame. Now let's have a closer look at the items which are included in the timber frame. You can see that the inner leaf block work and all associated materials and labour are marked as included in timber frame. That's because they're going to be replaced with timber frame panels, which will be accounted for elsewhere in the estimate. You'll see that the blocks in partition block walls, and also the timbers in the stud walls, are also marked as included in timber frame, and therefore omitted from the estimate. Let's compare this with the new build timber frame specification. Looking at the new build timber frame specification, we can see that Estimator Express has remembered the filter and is only showing the items included in the timber frame. Again, you'll see that many elements have the included in timber frame marker. In the new build timber frame specification, you can see that the inner leaf block work has been removed again, as it's included in the timber frame kit which will be estimated elsewhere. If we look further down the specification, we'll see that all roof timbers and associated labour are also set to included in timber frame. That's because it's assumed they'll be included in the timber frame kit. Hopefully now you can see how the various timber frame specifications work. So what's the process for estimating if you select a timber frame specification like this one? What you need to do is select the timber frame specification when you create your job, either in the new job wizard or in the main quote template screen. Add a supply and fit cost for the timber frame kit for the inner leaf, internal walls and roof structure to the subcontract quotations estimating calculator. Then estimate everything else as usual. Estimator Express will automatically leave out any inner leaf block work and roof timbers which are being replaced by the kit. I'm now going to talk you through the process of estimating using a site fabricated timber frame specification. I'm going to create a job using a standard job template. Once you're in the main quote template screen, under resource specification, select a site fabricated timber frame specification. You'll be reminded to estimate the timber frame using the timber frame panel estimating calculators. Click OK. Now we've selected the appropriate specification, we can begin estimating. 
In the external wall section of the quote template, open the brick and block cavity wall dimensions wizard. You could of course select another wall type, such as the external cavity block wall or stone cavity wall as appropriate. The external wall estimating calculator you select will provide the foundations and footings, the external leaf, the internal plastering and the decoration for your walls. Work your way through the dimensions wizard in the usual way. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to leave all of the dimensions and options for the foundations and footings set to the defaults. Just a quick note on insulation. The timber frame panels can be insulated, but you can also add an additional layer of insulation to the cavity walls here. Assuming you're happy with the plastering and decoration options, click finish. Now let's go to the main estimate and see what's been estimated. Open up the brick and block cavity wall estimating calculator on the navigator. Another warning pops up telling us that we need to estimate the timber frame panels using the timber frame panels estimating calculators. Click OK. And open the external walls worksheet. Click on the calculated resources tab to see which resources have been specified. As you can see, because we selected the site fabricated timber frame specification, the blocks above DPC have been set to included in timber frame. The cavity insulation is also showing as included in timber frame. However, if you want to double up the insulation and allow for some here, click on the cavity insulation in the list and then click the change resource button. Scrolling down the calculated resources tab, you'll see that the sand and cement for the block work have also been set to included in timber frame and have no associated cost. Further down still, the tasks to lay the block work and also to fix the cavity insulation are set to included in timber frame as well. That means there are no costs associated with these tasks. Now of course we need to estimate the timber frame panels to replace the inner leaf block work which has been omitted from the estimate. Click onto the main estimate on the navigator. Then click the Add Estimating Calculator button on the top ribbon. Type Timber Frame into the search box and then click Find. Tick the Timber Frame Panel Estimating Calculator. You'll see that there's also a Timber Frame Panel for Gable Estimating Calculator if you need it. To add the Timber Frame Panel to the estimate, click Select. The Timber Frame Panel Estimating Calculator opens up automatically. There are three dimensional templates. I'm going to select the ground floor panel with concrete ground slab option. Click add. The dimensions wizard for the timber frame panel opens up. The first page deals with the timber frame panel dimensions. Switch on the tech tips and tech labels. These will give some additional on-screen help. Check the height of the panel and type in the length of the panel. You can change the depth of the header piece and the head binder to custom thicknesses if required. Check the centres of the studs and click the bottom left button to review the fixings and stud sizes. You can edit the stud sizes and fixings or leave them as standard. Click next to review the timber quantities. If the wall is weight bearing you can add extra vertical studs. Bridging between the floor joists is set to zero because we're using a concrete slab and there are zero header pieces for this dimensional template too. Moving on to the next page, we have the insulation and vapour check options. There are options to cover the head binder and header piece in sheathing. Vapour check and insulation are included as standard. In the bottom input boxes, you can type in the overlap of the breather membrane to the bottom and the sides of the panel. On the next page, we can estimate the openings in the panel. Enter the width of the opening, which is used to estimate the length of the timber at the top. Enter the height of the opening, then check the height to the top of the opening from the bottom of the panel. This dimension is used to estimate the cripple studs supporting the lintel and also to calculate the length of the cripple studs supporting the sill. Type in the distance to the opening from the left hand side of the panel. This is used to calculate the number of studs required before the opening. On the right hand side there are some additional lintel details. You can also add extra timbers to the lintel and the sill. Finally we can estimate the plant required to construct the panels. 
If you require a crane, type in the number of days here. If you need any other plant items, for example for moving timbers, type in the number of days here. You can specify the plant in a moment. Once you've done that, click Finish. Add additional dimensional columns for each timber frame panel. Now let's have a look at the calculated resources. You can see here the timbers which have been specified for each part of the panel. You can swap any of the timbers using the Change Resource button. You can also see which labourers have been specified to carry out each task. Scrolling to the bottom, you can specify the plant items you require. Click on the plant item and then click the Change Resource button to select a plant item from the price book. So that's how to estimate the timber frame panels for the inner leaf of the external walls. Don't forget you'll also need to estimate the internal timber frame walls using the internal timber frame studding estimating calculators. The plastering and decoration to the internal walls can be estimated using the stud walls estimating calculator. Over to you. Estimating a timber frame job is straightforward once you've selected the correct timber frame specification. The key thing to remember is that a site fabricated timber frame specification only switches the inner leaf blockwork and the internal stud walls for timber frame. The timber frame panels can then be estimated using the timber frame panel estimating calculators. Alternatively, a price for the panels can be added to the subcontract quotations estimating calculator. The timber frame specifications on the other hand switch the inner leaf blockwork, internal stud work and roof timbers for a timber frame kit. For this type of specification, a kit price should be added to the subcontract quotations estimating calculator.